What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to look at the prizes for regionals. Because regionals are coming back in March to May of this year. And they've got new prizes. Now, I'm going to tell you right at the outset, so don't waste a bunch of time. There are online and offline regionals. They have the same prizes. Now, there is a very, 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 very slight difference. The specific regionals cards, and I'm going to use Sanji as an example here, they say offline and online regionals. That is it. That is the only difference in pricing. The prizes, when they kick in, everything else, they're all exactly the same. But you'll notice that one of these Sanji says offline regionals, and one of them says online regionals. That is the only difference in prizing between online and offline regionals, and that is that the cards that specifically say regionals on them, not the playmats, more on those in a minute, but the cards that specifically say regionals on will say online or offline, depending on whether you want them in an online or an offline regional. Sound like a plan? Excellent. So everybody who participates gets themselves a regional participation pack, or I should say two of them. And these feature four quote-unquote new cards. Because they are, in fact, all reprints. So we've got the brand new from OPO3. Now, as a side note here, as we've come to expect from regionals, we do have a participation pack. But then we have a finalist card set. And we have a champion card set. And you'll notice that it's exactly the same. Same art, same card, but the stamp is different, whether it says winner or whether it says finalist, or whether it just says regionals. So I'm going to be showing you them as a trio as we go through, so I don't have to just show you the exact same cards in a minute with different stamps. That would be a waste of our time. So, we've got Branus from OPO3. It's our Navy Searcher. On play, look at the top three cards of your deck. Find a Navy card other than Branu. Add it to your hand. Phenomenal card. Navy, obviously, with Sakazuki and Black and all of that. Great at the moment. Great card, sees a huge amount of play, people are going to want this. Now, we also have Sanji, this is one from OPO3, and kind of plus 2,000 is good. And Don X2, when attacking, you can add a card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand, and then add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life. Doesn't see a huge amount of play compared to some other yellow cards, but you get an extra card in your hand, which is good. You don't actually have less life remaining because you replace one. But then you also get to put a card on top of your life, which is fantastic because, of course, yellow has lots of trigger. That could be a trigger. We've got Gum Gum Jet Pistol, a really nice event card. See some play as a main or as a trigger. You KO one of your opponent's characters with 6k or less. Really good for just blowing up one card you do not want on the field. And then we got the Scratch the Pooh from Starter Deck 02, which right now really doesn't see much play at all. Counter plus 2,000 is nice, but Don X1, when attacking, rest up to one of your opponent's Don. It's not a bad card, it just doesn't see a huge amount of play. Now then we get to Event Pack Volume 3, and this is being given out here as well. And this is, again, being given out as a participation prize, so all you need to do here is rock up. And you get yourself two of these. And there are four cards in here, which got a couple of reprints and a couple of new ones. So we've got the Roanoa Zoro, which was a magazine promo over in Japan. Remember, this is event packs. There's no stamps or anything like that. And these event packs are going to be used in other places. But we've got just, a, it's not quite a vanilla character. It's 1k down. Four cost, 5k, counter plus 1,000. But as a trigger, you KO one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. It's not bad. Decent little card. The other one we've got here is a Yamato, which actually has, I'm pretty sure, actually has Oda artwork on here. This was another magazine promo over in Japan. Looks stunning. And on play, you can place all cards in your hand at the bottom of your deck in any order. And then draw cards equal to the number you placed at the bottom of your deck. So, decent card for consistency in purple. I've not seen it popping up in a huge amount of lists, but there is quite a lot of potential. Now, we then have an alternate art of the OPO5 Monet. 
That is your blocker that on block, you get to rest one of your opponent's characters at a cost of four or less. Decent card, but not set in the metagame on fire yet. And then we got a reprint of the starter deck free Trafalgar Law, which is your one cost blocker. We like one cost blockers. One cost blockers are good. So we've got two alternate art and two brand new cards that were initially magazine promos. And then the other thing you get for participation, in addition to your two participation packs and your two event packs, you get the Gear 5 Don. Now, I've talked about this a couple of times. This was the very first time this was given out, was at the pop up Shibuya One Piece TCG store that I did actually have a ticket to visit when I was in Japan. But unfortunately, I had to not go. Well, that's a bit of a lie. But basically, I had to. Well, I didn't have to, but I had tickets for a baseball game. So I, I went to that instead. And yes, I do feel bad. Because I really wanted to go to the One Piece pop-up. It was a little bit sad. But now we're being given it here. And it's lovely that it is actually coming out here. This is wonderful. This makes us all very, very happy. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for this, Don. So the fact that it's actually coming is kind of brilliant. So that's what you get for participating. And then, you know, top 512, you get yourself another Don. Nobody cares. But top 256, you get yourself Yamato sleeves. Now, you'll notice here that these are... We're, we're, this is not new artwork, all right? This is the alternate art Yamato from OP01. That they've basically taken the artwork and they've gone and put it onto sleeves. It's quite lovely. As always, how much you love this is going to depend on your love for this artwork and Yamato and all of that. But, yeah, they've gone and put this onto sleeves. But you only get the sleeves if you make top 256. That's important. Top 128, you get another Gear 5 Don. And then top 64 is where it gets interesting. Because you get four more event packs, yay. But you get a Captain Kid. A starter deck Captain Kid. Now, we've seen this card over in Japan. We have not yet seen this card in English. This is the first time this card is being made available. And it is absolutely stunning. It is, of course, the Captain Kid from Starter Deck 10. It is an alternate art. And it's got the on play and when attacking, Don minus one. Up to one of your leaders gains a thousand power until the start of your next turn. Uh, when I was casting the Liverpool regionals back in November, we saw this be amazing with the Starter Deck 10 Luffy leader. Actually took down the tournament, if I remember correctly. And I do. So that's coming in for top 64. That is going to be one people are very, very excited about. When you get to top 32, you get an offline regional finalist card set or an online regional finalist card set, depending where you are. So they're the ones I showed you earlier. You get all four of them, but you get them with the regional finalist stamp rather than the regular one. When you get to top 16, you actually get a invite to finals in North America, although it's actually top 32 if there's 800 or more players, but you also get your South Trafalgar Law, and I suppose an extra Don, but really Trafalgar Law, that's what we're worried about once again, this is a reprint of the one from Starter Deck 10, and it's a blocker that on play Don minus one, if your opponent's got seven or more cards in hand, you get to trash two of them. It's another card that has seen significant play, is a very good card, has been popping up in a bunch of deck lists, and now we get it here as well. This is going to be one that people are very, very excited about, plus it's only given to top 16. Top 8, you get a Serial Shanks, yeah, remember that's still a thing. And you get yourself a monkey to Luffy. And of course, it is obviously at this stage, you could have guessed, the one from Starter Deck 10. It's a 10 cost 11k rush. And when your opponent activates a blocker, you get to KO an 8k or less. Which is really mean, right? Because either you get to attack and your opponent doesn't block, or they do block and you get to get one of their characters. Seems mean, frankly. Seems mean. But it's kind of awesome. Weirdly, there is nothing extra for top four. If you win your top eight, there's no extra prizes. But second place gets a playmat. There is a special playmat for second place. And you'll notice it doesn't say online or offline. 
It's just the playmat. So whereas the cards, they do actually differentiate as to whether you've won it in an online or an offline regionals, here they don't. Whether you win it online or offline, you get the exact same one. And we got a, basically they've just taken a couple of card arts. They've taken a Don Quixote Rosinante, and they've taken a Trafalgar Law, and they've whacked them both on there and gone, there we go, have fun. And as you can see on the screen, they are both from OPO4. We've got the Black Law from OPO4, and we've got the Secret Rare Rosinante from OPO4. Take both of them, whack them on a playmat, and I know some people aren't going to be huge fans of this. I think it looks cool. It's also a very exclusive playmat. But then if you win, you get the champion set. Same deal, but now they're stamped with winner, which is quite nice. And you also get another set of Yamato sleeves, if that's important to you. But then you get the champion playmat. And I adore this champion playmat. Second place playmat, lovely. Nice little playmat. Champion playmat. Oh, this is something very, very special. Artwork-wise, for some reason, we've jumped from OPO4 to OPO5 for this playmat. So we've got the regular art Rebecca. Although it is a little bit weird. They've taken the character, but they've changed the background. So it does look a little bit strange. But it is still clearly the art from the OPO5 card. They've just changed the background. We've got Vivi, exactly the same deal. Same character art but they've taken it off and put it on the new background. And then we've got ourselves Shira Hoshi as well. So I, I do believe this one is going to be very, very, very exciting. Again, it's one from OPO5, same artwork. They're all black cards in OPO5 if anybody cares, but this is awesome. This is a stunning play map. And of course, worth pointing out again, this is only given to the winner of regional championships. So this is not going to be an easy to find playmat. It's not going to be a cheap playmat. But oh my word, is it going to be worth it? So there we go. There are some um, very exciting cards coming. We've got a new regionals pack. Obviously, three different versions. We've got a new event pack. We've got new trophy cards. We've got new trophy playmats. This is awesome. But now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.